Happy New Year everybody, we are back, back on the road. Um, we're doing our summer holiday road trip and as you can see it's not too summery. Um, there's a lot of bad weather at the moment, a lot of campsites up north have actually packed up and gone home um, because of the weather. It's not too fantastic at the moment, we're obviously in Taupo. Had a bit of rain coming down, not too bad, but apparently it's supposed to be better in the South Island. We're just now driving down to Wellington, doing the um, drive from Auckland to Wellington in one day, jumping on the 2am ferry and going across to Picton. We are hoping to find a freedom camping spot in Kaikoura, but if not, we will be going and staying with Pam and David, which we did last year. So we will see how we go. It is now about 10 o'clock at night. Um, we've just arrived in Wellington at Blue Bridge Ferry Terminal. So just going to go and do the check-in. Um, it's been a very long day. Ended up driving 510 kilometres today. Um, we stopped in Hamilton and Taupo um, for breaks. We had lunch in Hamilton. Um, the weather wasn't too bad. It rained quite heavily through Waiuru. Um, Adam did the last hour from Levin to Wellington here because um, yeah I just felt too tired and didn't think it was safe for me to continue driving um, so I'm just going to go and do the check-in for the Blue Bridge Ferry we're hoping that we're going to be able to go over to the check-in line again like we did last time um, girls are just making up their bed in the top of the camper and Adam and I have already got our bed made up down the back so hopefully we'll be able to catch some winks um, we're also going to pack overnight bags for the ferry we've booked cabins again so that we can hopefully catch a couple of hours sleep on the ferry so can't actually remember I think we just go inside and check in I can't remember from last time um, but the actual loading process um, I've already done a video of that last time which I will put down below and there's a link down below in the description so we're just sitting over there in the waiting area waiting and I will go and check us in. All done, super easy, straight in, um, all checked in, just got given a paper slip for a boarding pass, like so. Then we just follow around here to the main gate, guy in yellow will tell us where to park. Um, that's where we go into the lane and we basically just sit there until boarding which will be sometime early in the morning and we can get some sleep. Mm. Cabin same as last time, two beds, linen, they even got a window. And full bathroom. Yay. So we can have showers and go to bed. So, shower time, bed time. See you in the morning. And another good but rainy morning from Kaikoura. We got off the ferry this morning and we got a rude awakening at about 4 o'clock saying to please evacuate or get out of our cabins and take the keys back to the cafe. Um, we didn't actually dock for about another hour so it was severe lack of sleep. Um, we went and sat in the lounge and watched a movie, I think it was Jumanji, I was still half asleep and it was very loud for 4 o'clock in the morning but anyway. Um, we've now come to our little lay-by area just at the start of Kaikoura that we always come and visit once we get off the ferry. Just sort of a little lay-by down by the road. Um, we've just parked up here, had something to eat, had probably about another three hours sleep and we're now just going to, there's actually a campsite here um, just down the back there. There's no signs to say that you can't freedom camp in this car park. I mean, we're not staying overnight anyway, but I don't know whether you would get kicked out or not. There's nothing to suggest it. Um, so we're just going to go for a walk down the beach now in the rain, but hey, it is what it is. 
and the plan for today is we're going to meander down the coast um, down to Kaikoura because last time we came down last Christmas um, we actually had accommodation all booked because we weren't sure what it would be like um, this time of year peak time um, not sure at the moment with the weather the way it is because I know a lot of people particularly up north um, north of Auckland in the North Island um, have actually packed up and given up on their camping trips and gone home so the plan is we're going to meander down the Kaikoura coast see if we can find a freedom camping spot and stay there for the night if not it will be friends of ours Pam and David's driveway for three nights Someone's made a hut, that's really cool. Could throw a tarp over that and camp on the beach. set up for the night in Kaikoura on West End which is on the main drag um, it's just opposite the Kaikoura council buildings it is just a public car park by day between 8 30 and 5 30 p.m it is a dollar an hour per parking um, so we've got our little posse in there now it's actually quite busy at the moment I don't know whether it will clear out it's only 2 30 in the afternoon um, other than that, after 5.30pm it is free overnight camping for self-contained vehicles and right at the end of the car park there is a public toilet which we haven't been into yet but apparently they are quite clean and tidy and very nice. No views here at all but um, it is very handy to everything and just a little bit further up the road, probably oh, less than a kilometre, is New World Supermarket. So this is us for the night, unfortunately still raining and by the looks of it we're going to be pretty much following the rain around the country wherever we go. It's 7.30pm now and the rain has finally stopped. Um, still a little bit of mist but better than pouring down. So just come out for a walk after dinner, um, just along the road from the campsite and found some quite cool beach access. Well, kind of beachy chore. There's the girls down there just having a bit of time out. Sleep. Hear the 
que he sido amor Sabes a ir dentro, dentro No limit to what we can do Oh, well you know what we have, let's hold on tight 